Hey tēnei wiki, ka haere mātou ko Mike Parker o Basic Instincts ki ta hari kiritaki ki te aruwaru kararehe i te rohe o mamuku. Kātahi, ka whanātu ki te teihana o wairata ki te whakaharuru tari ana. Atu te wako hantina o te roa ki mamaku i te takiwa o Rotorua. Hore na whanau. Well, today we're heading out for a bit of a hunt with a local company called Basic Instincts located in Rotorua for a private hunt. Good thing about it is we're heading up in Chopper, which is pretty good for me because I've had a long walk all the way from Mohunumutu to the lakefront. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Volcanic Air Safaris. Deborah, is it? Yes, that's right. How are you? I'm here for a bit of a hunt with uh, a couple of pandas. Oh, excellent. These are your these are your people here. Paul and Megan. Hi, how are you? Good to meet you. G'day, how mate. Are you today? Hi, good to meet you. Great, and your helicopter is ready. Right, we're out of here. Good See you later. Have a nice time. Thank you very much. Hey, Hari Tau Hau ki te aruaru kararehe me te hiika te pūtake o te kamupene Basic Instincts o Rotorua. Ka tima te te haerenga i te haererere huri noa i Rotorua ki maunga ngonga taha taino atu ki te poraka mahi aruaru i mamaku. Kei reira te koi whakahaere a Mike Parker e tātari ana. Have a nice flight in. Bit bumpy. Bit bumpy. Yeah. Beautiful day, look at that. Rain's coming this afternoon, so we're going to get out and do a bit early this morning and see what happens. What have you done first up? Uh, first of all, when they finish their cuppa there, they'll um, go with Richard. And our, our clients there from Ireland and Megan there from Canada. We'll get a pig before the rain comes and then we'll go have lunch and we'll get into a fellow deer this afternoon. Megan's going to carry the pig out? She's going to bring the pig today. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> First experience, new experience for them, so it's going to be great. Kia basic instincts, te mana whakahari o tēnei poraka whenua katoa. Kua hau maru te aruaru kararehe i konei. Done a bit of hunting over the years, eh, man? Oh, yeah, since, since I was a boy. Yep. Not too long ago. <laughs> Thirty odd years, I suppose. <laughs> well, I've got the rifle, mate. I must be doing the shooting. Eh? That must mean you're doing the carrying. <laughs> Yeah, oh, we've got plenty of carriers here, these, these two behind us. We might have to stick a pig on Megan's shoulders and she can take that photo back to Canada. Do you reckon? Oh, I'd say she'd be able to carry a pig no trouble. <laughs> Me kōrero rero tātou ki te airihi. I understand you've uh, done a bit of military work back home, eh? Yeah, that's right. Spent four years in the British Army, uh, mainly based in uh, Northern Ireland. Kind of right in the terrorism there, so that was good fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tell us a bit more about that, mate. Oh, different work. Well, I spent a year at uh, Sandhurst doing my officer training, and then I spent four months in Brecon and Wales doing the infantry battle course, and then headed over to Northern Ireland, basically to fight the riots that were going on there, patrol the borders, keep the troublemakers out of Northern Ireland. What about the old pig hunting? No, not much pig hunting. Mainly, first time, Ed? Only terrorist hunting I've done, but yeah, it's the first time pig hunting. It's quite interesting. Well, the good thing about it, mate, is this type of hunting. No one shoots back at you. Well, that's true, yeah. What about your lovely lady, mate? Yeah, she's pretty keen on hunting. Her dad's done quite a lot back in Canada, so, yeah, the pig hunting will be interesting. And if we catch something, we'll put a bit of blood on your face, just take your clothes off and do, do our hacker. hacker, mate. Yeah, yeah, I'm mate. looking forward to getting into that, actually. <laughs> Show me the way. I'll teach you that, because I've actually tried the buddy Irish River dance. Oh, have you? Yeah, almost drowned. Me kōrero katakata, kātika. Kai hea taua pūrari pōaka.
ki hai rau e ki te hea hata nei puhi ai. Engari, uh, fun unfortunately the old uh, Irish brother had a bit of a miss there. I'd have to show him a Māori warrior shoot over here. So far we've seen two fellow, two red, but nothing down yet. But hopefully that might change just around the corner. I'll, I'll just head down this back gully here. Hopefully anything in that gully will drift up and I'll get a decent crack at it. So that's probably our best shot, I think. Oh, what a ano! Ki a kahara e hoa! I a mātou e tātari ana ka whakaohorere mai e paura he tia! Ah, ka pai! Well done, mate. Thanks, mate. You had me worried. Your strike weight not the best, yeah. mate. Five shots, one deer, but never mind. Point blank range can't miss. We got it, mate. That's the main thing. That's the one, mate. Alright? Yep. Pull it over a bit more. How's that? Looking good. Yep. Nice and warm. You got him? I got him. Ka pai taua whakaungau puaka i huri hei whakaaru a rutia. Ka rawe! Congratulations, mate. Your first deer, eh? Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Hope it's not your last. Yeah, hopefully not. Do it again. Give sure. my uh, regards to my Irish relations back over there. Thanks so sure. much. Thanks, Thank you, I roto i tēnei wahanga o Huntina Aotearoa, ka hari a tātou e Basic Instincts ki wairata i te rohe o Waiaweka. Ka tai pai atu mai i roto rua, a, ko te wātū takitaki tēnei. Yeah, man. Hey, hey. My son Jordan. Hey, buddy. With Bryce. Yeah, man. And Dale. Pleased to meet you. Oh. Right, Harry, let's just have a look at the map here where we're, where we're going to. This is um, on the Wairata Station, which is Bob and Mary Red past poverty. They've had it for about 40 odd years in the family. We're up here at the hut here where we are now. We're going to travel up through here, follow the riverbeds up, keep going up here, come up here, and we're going to cut up the top of the hill here. And as you can see in the, in the area, it's quite a climb up, uh, quite rugged, so it's all going to be done four wheel drive. And when we get up the top, it's quite open paddocks right on top of the hill there, and we'll probably climb another thousand feet to get to the top of that. Bob, the owner, was saying that um, is hearing a, a stag uh, roaring up the back and out through here. This morning it was um, quite foggy up here, a lot colder, so you know, things are starting to happen. What are we after? We're going to have a look. Big reeds, mate, big reeds. Sounds like a plan, mate. Mm. I'll follow you. We're going to do it, eh? Yep. E rite ana tēnei pūraka o wairata ki tō mamuku. He pūraka whenua motuhake e noho haumaru ana ki o rātou kiritaki. Kia ora whanau no mahara mai ki tēnei wahango hunting Aotearoa, kōrero awhina o tēnei wiki. This week, bedding a rifle. Adam, bedding a rifle? Howie, when we first buy a rifle um, off the shelf, um, there'll be a certain amount of tooling marks inside the barrel itself, um, which will actually uh, pick up a lot of copper fouling. Um, won't make the rifle overly accurate straight out of the box. So what we need to do, um, we need to do a couple of bedding in procedures um, to remove that uh, copper fouling or the tooling marks and make the rifle shoot a lot better. And how, how do we do that? Um, one method is actually shooting it down on the range. So a good idea is to clean the rifle first, set off around, then clean it again, okay? Um, the other method we use, a lot simpler, bit of auto sole, power drill, okay, connect that to the power drill and we just sit there and we just polish it out till we get a nice mirror finish or pretty close to one. Good procedure first is to just to put a brush down there, give it a clean. First off, we'll put the bolt in, like that, get ready to fire, we'll put our round in, we'll fire it, we'll clean it and when we clean it with a swab, the swab should come out with blue, okay? And that shows that the, it's got copper foul in it, and that's the one we want to remove. So we need to do that um, after every shot until such times as the rag, when it comes out, is clean. So we need to clean it quite thoroughly. Give this a brush. Clean it out. Got our swab. Okay, we'll just put that on like this. Our copper sulfate. Put some of that on the swab, like that. And eventually, 
we'll start getting a blue mark coming on our patch. See, it's quite dirty. So what we need to do is we need to clean that, keep on cleaning it till those patches are clean. The other way, we'll hook that into our drill. Like that. A little bit of um, auto sole on there. Coming to the end of the barrel. And we just right down the end. We just keep on doing this, all right, till the same results, same results happen. You see all the dirt, we keep on doing it so all the dirt comes off. Make sure the barrel's nice and clean, of course, when we can do this. And just keep on polishing the barrel up with auto soles, as simple as that. And any difference between a stainless and another barrel? Yeah, well the stainless is a higher chromium, has a higher chromium contact, so it's a lot harder to seat in. So you probably need to um, do the process a lot longer than if you were using a blue barrel. Okay, the blue barrel is not as hard and will actually bed in a lot quicker than a stainless barrel. So they have a whānau, a bit of extra gun maintenance, just to make your next shot a bit more accurate out on the hunt. Morena koina te kōrero awhina, tēnei wiki, kia ora. Kei te teihano wairata anō tātou i te rohe o Waiaweka. Neke atu i te rima mano eka te rahi o tēnei whenua. Hei tia whero, hei tia whelau, he puaka anō hoki ngā kararehe o runga. I tēnei rā, he punua tia hei kai te whainga. The wind's into our face now. Bryce and Josh are going to carry on ahead because uh, yeah, my mate smell a bit and uh, they might pick us up, so it's better than two guys rather than four of us. Kahang atu a Bryce Rowako Jordan. Kotahi noi ho te mahi e toe ana Me whakatata atu Ka haruru anō Ka whakorongo Ha ha ha! The wind's swirling around, and he's either got wind of us, or it's so thick we made quite a bit of noise, and we might have come too close and scared him. But he's shut up anyway, so he's he's obviously got got wind of the fact we're here. So we'll head back out and see if we can find another one. Takurunga he mea nui kei rarora. E ai ki te rongo kei te whakapiri mai. Aue, kei te whakatata mai. Those first two shots. <laughs> Na wai rā ka wai mari e, ko te mea nui i mau i a koe tāku e pepehe ana. Ka pai Bryce, he pai tonu mo te barbecue. So there he is. He allows you a little four-pointer, but never mind. <laughs> He's a stag, eh? Well, Howie got stuck on the kai back there and uh, feeding his face. So, uh, seeing he's the biggest and strongest, you better go and get him, eh, and see if he can plug him out for us. So There's quite a big climb back up there. I reckon Howie's the man for the job. Pissy bit off his guts, they piss all over themselves and it stinks to hell. So I'll just cut all that off, and we can make a pico out of him, put him on our back, and we won't get that stink all over us. And the reason why they uh, piss all over them? Oh, well, get, they get horny, you know, and they flick their old penis out, and. Just all over the place. They love it. <laughs> I 
so what the rut's all about. Making yourself smell as good as you can for the girls. <laughs> I'm not sure if the girls are impressed, but the boys think it's good, sir. So. I hope you realise you disturbed me and my mate's uh, afternoon tea session. Yeah, no, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Couldn't you guys hear Roy? No, I couldn't hear anyone. Anyway. We walked to the top of the hill and suddenly he was right here, eh? To start off, we thought he was over on that face over there. Yeah. And then when we walked down, we said, no, I could tell he was just here. So we just sat there and gave him a bell and he ran straight up to us. You could have uh, brought him to the top of the hill, mate. Yeah, I should have. Hey? Backtracked. Yeah, not a bad, bad little fellow anyway, is he? Yeah, the two-year-old. Easiest to shoot at that age because they're pretty dumb and horny and silly things. Ah, yeah, right. Oh. Is that a view? <sighs> things I do for you fellas whanau. Kai ngā kawanau ki ta mahi pikau, he miti mo tō. He puke tei tei anō, he paiake e nei hiwi ki ngā mihi ni whakakorikori tīnana i runga i ngā pānu i pōaka whakāta. Up early this morning, if I know. So bloody early, I forgot my rifle. That's going to cost me a box. But once again, I'm back on carrying duties. Ka piki hiwi anō mātou, ā, ah, mā rake rake ana te titiro atu, mā he ana ki te tuku karanga tia. They must just ride at night, I think, eh? Yeah, they usually do night and morning, evenings and mornings. But uh, they were here last night, but they might have got a whiff of us. Oh. And all moved out. What do you think of the young fella coming out? All good, eh? Yeah, no, it's good to teach him, eh, the safety and how to hunt properly. And, I had a great childhood hunting when I was a kid, and I reckon every kid should be given the chance. Ai <laughs> te ata hua hoki o te nei wahi, e ngari, kei taku moe ngā maha nei o hina mutu ke aku whakaaro, o ti rahe mahi aru aru taku hia ia, ha pono! Best time of the day, eh, up in the bush in the morning. Maybe no bloody deer. <laughs> Think of another place I'd rather be. <laughs> Jordy, you'd like to be there, would you? <laughs> Especially on a cold morning like this. Ha! Me au tonu au ki ta kaupapa ka tika. Nothing happening up there, mate, apart from a herd of elephants crashing through the bush. Oh, I'll take you for a wander down my side, mate. There's a little bit of roar in this morning, so I think if we get underway before the sun gets too high, could be in. Sounds good, bro. あ、けね、ペカワイマリアタタウイアデオ。カチマタデオテファイファイチア。イアホウエカラガアナマイガカレデヘカトウテタキワ。タワイラ、カキティアテタイ。Te whānau, koe nei te wahanga whakoho Māori, ara, a teo, e ngā oki haere ana. Kua hua tātou? Bloody not bad, all right, mate. Hey. Here she is. Little, little spiker. Choice, buddy. Thank you. Sounded a bit bigger than uh, what it was, but uh, venison steaks. Well, I think so. On the menu, mate. So what happened, mate? You gave him two. Yeah, gave him two. Just, uh, just saw him break cover. So 
gave him a through and through, dropped him down, but he just got back up on his front legs. So yeah, just give him a quick head shot, eh? Keep things fast and painless. It's actually quite good where you've shot it too, mate, because it's, uh, you haven't hit him in the shoulder, so we can keep all that meat. You just hit him, whack him straight in the lungs, eh? Best way to go. I yeah, reckon. There you go, all over. All in the morning's work, mate. Before breakfast even. Before breakfast. <laughs> I can hear the bacon sizzling from here. I can just about smell it. I think we might drag this one, buddy. My shoulders are a bit pretty sore. What's the biggest thing you like about hunting, mate? Uh, definitely the outdoors, the fresh air. Um, bit of meat for the freezer and friends. Um, Good way to reset yourself after a, a hard week, and uh, I'm yet to meet a bad bugger. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 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 all the bases covered. The social side, you get something to eat, you get your hands dirty, bit of exercise, which always goes down well. I mean, who got you started? Um, <laughs> an old school teacher, believe it or not. Is that right? Yep. Many years ago, he used to cane me and keep me half the school. <laughs> and then we went our own ways when they asked me to leave. Um, and it was a few years later, we bumped into each other again. And uh, just out of the blue, he said, come for a hunt. And hooked ever since. Check out the fruits of our labour, farmer. Two deer, just like that. Pricey, good shot last night, mate. Cheers, Howie. <laughs> Hope you can find me back. Absolutely. Yeah. Mike? No worry. Come on back. Come back in the spring, mate. I'll have you down here anytime. Mate, I'll gladly come back and uh, be security guard with you alongside yourself <laughs> for that chili bin any day, mate. I'll take good care of it while you're away. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, you're very welcome, Harry. Hopefully, we'll see you again. Soon. Soon. Very soon, mate. Look forward to it. Choice. There you have it, Farno. Basic instincts just outside of Rotorua. Give them a call. Come out and have a bit of a hunt, but more so, come out and have a great time with some great people. And that's Hunting Aotearoa for another week. Kia ora. Hey te rā wiki ka haere tā tau ki re kohu, whakangau puaka tahi me Anthony rātou ko anohoa. He patu weka hoki te mahi, ko re kohu anake te wahi ka tai a tēnei mahi. He maha ngā mahi whakoho mauri e haere ake ana, i rungi ta hōtaka mahi aru aru motu hake o Hunting Aotearoa. So they all met. You'd fly into that to pick you out a couple of people and roll like that. Get out of here. Sorry, cat.